example 7 in our differential equations topic. We're looking at first order differential equations just now. And we've started in the last example 6, we had the first of the particular solutions. This is the second of them. Uh, we're using the separating variables technique. There is another one, but at the moment this technique works quite well. So we'll have a look and see what we've got here. Now we've got the sec of y plus e to the x dy by dx equals 0. Now normally with the separating variables we're trying to get the y function to the left and the x functions to the right hand side of the equation. Um, the way this one's set up because we've got sum of terms on the right for the moment I'm actually going to do it the opposite way around. We know that we want to get the y terms on the left but first of all I'm just going to uh, sort this or get rid of the, the sum of terms by taking the y function over to the right. Now we can rearrange it the way we normally do, which is by dividing and multiplying both sides. So if we divide both sides by negative sec, sec y, we're going to have 1 over uh, negative sec y here on the, the left. Uh, and also if we divide through by e to the x, we've got 1 over e to the x. And if we multiply through by dx, we end up with that. So using our algebraic manipulation, we can end up with an expression like that. Function in y dy equals the function in x dx. We, we don't have to leave it like that. We are going to integrate it in a moment. But uh, sec, sec y, remember, is uh, 1 over cos y. Uh, so 1 over sec y is just cos y. So we've got negative cos y dy is equal to, I'm going to make that a negative uh, index for integrating purposes. We want to integrate both sides. So we can integrate both sides. We can introduce our integral symbol and we can then work on uh, working out the answers to these. Uh, negative cos y integrates to uh, cos integrates to sine, so we're going to have negative sine y on the left hand side. E to the negative x integrates to the e to the negative x divided by the derivative of the inside function, which is negative 1. Uh, and we've got plus c as our constant of integration. So if we multiply both sides by negative 1, we end up with sine y equals e to the negative x plus c. That seems to be a, a kind of general term just now. We could introduce um, our inverse sign, but for the moment we'll keep that as our general uh, solution. Um, we can find a particular solution by in introducing the given values at one particular point what we're we given. We're given that y equals pi over 6 when x equals 0. So x equals 0 and y equals pi over 6. And what have we got here? We've got sine pi over 6 is equal to e to the 0 plus c. Uh, the sine of pi over 6 is a half. e to the 0 is 1 plus c. So c has the value of negative a half. Which means that, in this case, we can say that the particular solution is we can start off with sine y equals e to the negative x minus a half. Or we could go the full way and say that y is the inverse sine of e to the negative x minus a half. Either way, um, I think they're reasonable solutions, but uh, whichever one you prefer. So that's us got another particular solution uh, given the kind of wee bits of extra information that we got given about x and y. Okay, hope that's helpful. Uh, you can go on and have a look at some other uh, particular solutions. We're going to go on uh, and have uh, a wee look at uh, involving integration by parts. Okay, so check out example 8 as well.